Good morning. You're watching Morning at NTV. That's actually our hashtag, Morning at NTV. We've had many thoughts as the show has been going on. And uh, this morning, I'm concerned as a mobile money user. There's a 1% tax, but when you just hear 1%, and for some users, it might be like, that's not too bad. If you think about the charges that are already high, and you think that 1% is on transactions, all transactions that might actually scare you. To discuss this, I have the Executive Director of the Civil Society Budget Advocacy Group, and that is Julius Mkunda. Good morning. Good morning. And I also have from Pegasus Technology, yes. Technologies, and that is Ronald Mwang, the Technical Director. We'll find out why he is here to discuss this. <laughs> uh, but uh, Julius, CSBAG has been known to you know, be up in arms every time there's something unfair happening. Yeah. And that means if you are here, you are unhappy about the 1% <laughs> tax. <laughs> huh? Are you a mobile money user? You're a rich man. You're in I'm the banking sector. I'm a mobile sector. money user. <laughs> you are? For that, yes. Yeah, and but, you know, for, for maybe sending money, you don't pay no, bills I do using please. mobile money. Wow, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what you do. When mobile, come, when mobile money came in, you don't mm. know what kind of convenience it brought. Yes that you cannot line in a bank for more than 30 minutes mm -hmm. just to, to pay a bill of 20,000, you know, National Health and Civil Corporation. Let me, let, me, let me just take you back to when mobile money was introduced as a phenomenon in the country. Not everyone rushed to it. Mm. Uh, people listened, mm -hmm. but as Ugandans with Bazetuba. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, it well, wasn't yeah, something was that everyone ran to it. It was mm. people were skeptical. People asked questions, and eventually, I think it, th the biggest thing we can all think about mobile money is the convenience. convenience. It reaches everyone, probably, mm. and anyone who's got a phone. Yes. But of course, there are negatives to it. We'll discuss that. But it's true that they need to widen the tax base and include every economic activity. Yes. So mobile money is not and shouldn't be exempt of taxation. Mm -hmm. But let's look at that one percent. So what mm. are they taxing? No, you see what are they proposing to tax? Yes, uh, whenever, whenever there's injustice, like you said, I come in. Yes. But also, whenever there are also good things, I also yeah. come <laughs> to, to praise. Well, we are and, not and, and really here, it's not that we are preventing mm. government from expanding taxation base. I can I tell you we need to expand our yes, tax base. Yes, we need money. We need money. But the challenge is that at what cost? And uh, I, w I usually say, should, we ha should I hang myself naked so they can pay taxes? No. Should I be dead? in terms of paying taxes. You know, it, it shouldn't be. There are better ways we can collect this tax without affecting an ordinary person who's trying to make a living. So this 1% basically means, and, 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 and I know Ronald is going to also help us here, is that once you deposit your money on your, your account. Which currently, because I've deposited money on my account, on your own account, on it's own free. Account. It's free. Yes. Be because this is service it, to help you to transfer. But uh, it's free, so you deposit. Yes. After that, if you are now beginning to transfer your money to anywhere else, I want send to give him, send it. to a few people, <laughs> that one person keeps on going. If you withdraw the money. Now, out of <laughs> that, if you are going to withdraw it, then you are also going to be a tax, that one person. And I usually say it is, there, is, there are two things you need to understand. You, you, you tax because you want to prevent a bad, a bad behavior. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, find alcohol is taxed so highly, mm -hmm. gaming is taxed so highly, uh, you know, uh, cigarettes, you know, old vehicles. You are trying to discourage a behavior. Mm, yes. But you can also tax uh, to increase an economic activity. Say, so, oh, guys, this is good. Let people use it. Yes. And, and that's why you find we have tax incentives, people to be able to do something. Or we have very low taxes to encourage people to keep on doing that, that particular business. But to do that... There must be an activity, there must be a value chain of that economic activity that you are taxing. So that if I'm, I'm offering my labor, you know, I'm adding value to produce something. So they tax you for that. Yes. If you are producing goods and services, there is a value you are adding, so they tax that. Because there is an income generated out of that. Now when you look at the 1% income tax, it neither is earning that, it is adding that value, but what you're looking at is that they are actually punishing you. So please don't use it. And I think it's very bad. So paying taxes is a punishment. So paying that 1% <laughs> in, <laughs> my, that in one, my value that is a punishment. Tell people, don't deposit, don't withdraw, don't transfer. Because every time you do it, we are going to tax We're you. going to talk about whether this is a ploy to try and get us back into banking. Because we, are, we have less numbers in banking yeah. and more in mobile money. Mm -hmm. But So just to clarify, the proposal is that there's a 1% tax if you deposit money on your mobile money account. Yes. There's a 1% tax when you withdraw yes. any money. <coughs> there's a 1% tax, tax if you're paying your car, 
water yes. bills, school All fees, that. whatever <coughs> transaction. And if you send me money, yeah, if or not you send me money, yes. you are taxed one percent for sending me the money. Yes. And if I withdraw and it, you also taxed one percent for receiving it. Oh, okay. Yes. The, the receiving part yes. now there. Yes. Yes. There's a multiplier effect. <laughs> this, but go you're punishing me for receiving money. Yes. And me who is sending. So it's both ends. It's not just. It's, it's, you're not taxing the the transaction, you're taxing both people at the both ends of the transaction. Yeah, let's talk about the fact that the charges stick. The charges were already increased in the last financial yes. year. Yes. Yes, for withdrawing, for yes. receiving money, yeah. Oh, yeah. there was an increase. And, and the reason why they were increased was because <coughs> there was, I think, a 10% excise duty. Excise on duty the telecoms. On the, on the charge. Yes. On the charge. Which mm. I think, if I'm not mistaken, has also now been proposed. You're saying it's been increased to 17? 17.5%. <laughs> <as laughs> well. That's just on the charge, not the 1%. That's yes. a separate thing. So you can see that space is really being... So if we're squeezed. saying uh, on the charge, 10% uh, to 17% yes. is a big margin. So 10% to 17%. And we're going to also receive another pinch on, on the charges. Charge. Thank mm. you very much. Which is in a way is also a tax because for me who's using mobile money, whichever way I look at it, whether I'm paying government or paying the telecom, you're paying. I'm paying. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, I'm Whoever paying. you are paying. You're, you're paying. The, the, the only difference is that the telecom calls it a charge, government calls it a tax. tax. But yes. I'm paying both of them. Yeah. Yes. Um, so we have a man on the ground who I think is still in Nansen, Andrew Chamagiri, who has a few people on the ground who have an opinion of this who are enraged. If we can just get to Andrew Chamagiri and uh, he gives us those few people and their thoughts and comments before we go right into it. Mm. Um, but as we're finding him, uh, so the charges are high, the, the tax is high. But before we get in, I was thinking to myself, it can't be all bad. I thought to myself, but the reason they said 1% and not 5% or 6% was to say you need to be taxed, just not maybe highly. Mm. Allow me to give you an example and maybe just to, uh, to get you to understand why a, 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 a technology company like us is also coming in. Yes. Because the ripple effects are not just purely on the tax. It's a bit simplistic to look at it that way. Mobile money is a platform that was done by the telecoms. Yes. But underneath it, there is an entire digital ecosystem that is thriving on top of that platform. So the person earning from mobile money is not just the agent? It's not just, not just the agent. I'll give an you. example mm -hmm. now. What does Pegasus Technologies do? Mm. We facilitate payments for Yaka. We facilitate okay. payments for school fees. Mm. We provide platforms because the biggest competitor by the for mobile money, and this is the biggest myth, people think that the biggest competitor for mobile money banks. is banks. No, it's cash. Because your natural inclination, if mobile money is becoming inconvenient, is go back to Give cash. Give me cash. People who got into mobile money were not those who were already banked. Were the ones who were not banked. There was a reason that they were not getting into the banking industry. You're trying to drive this whole agenda of financial inclusion. I gave an example and I said, you drive from Busega. Busega to Mitiana is 56 kilometers. Mm -hmm. There's about 20 towns in between there. The last bank you'll see is in Busega. The next bank you're going to see is in Mitiana. Yes. In between there, it's just mobile money. Now, all that had not changed before mobile money. But only that in between there, the entire economy in those, in those 20 towns was being run on cash. So you're trying to digitize that entire space. Well, we're so worried about you and I receiving money, getting money. What about the agents, though? Yeah, now, I'll, I was coming to that. So I'll give an example. Mm. We're running a project with the UNCDF called the digitization of the, of the Dairy Valley mm. Chain, where farmers sell their milk to cooperatives mm -hmm. who sell them to... Processors mm. who then sell them to the value supermarkets. Addition, yes. Yeah, the value addition. Mm. The supermarkets pay the processors, the, the jazzers of this world and mm. the dairy corporations. That transaction is a bank transaction. The processors pay the cooperatives, that is a bank transaction. Yes. But the cooperatives paying the farmers, that is a cash transaction. Mm. Because you're going in areas like Chivoga, 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers deep in the villages where the farmers actually produce this milk. Mm. These guys get paid every two weeks. Every two weeks there's a payment of 400 million that the farmers have collected, sorry, that the corporate has collected and has to pay the, 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 Down the, the, the to farmers. Mm. However, when they, what they would do before is they would go to Stanwick Bank or Centenary Bank in Chivoga, 20 kilometers away, get 400 million shillings, put it in the back put of a van, van, and then drive <laughs> down to the corporate. <laughs> I'm telling you, drive down to, drive down to the, 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 the this football field of a, of a local school, mm. farmers line up and they start paying, oh. okay, in mm. cash. Mm. That was the practice. So we said, no. One thing I know is these farmers might not have bank accounts for whatever yes, reason. But, because phone. Money, but they have a phone. Mm. Can we digitize this? There's a lot of advantages to the cooperative, to the farmers, to everyone. Yeah. They are happy to say, okay, fine, we'll swallow the, the cash out fee. Okay? But remember, this is a deposit. It's as good as a bank account. Now, what happens is, Duaniro cooperative, for example, one of our clients, will get 400 million shillings from the bank. And instead of giving to cash, they'll put it on their mobile wallet on their mobile account as the cooperative. Yes. Okay. They'll deposit 400 million shillings. 
which we're going forward one percent exactly mm -hmm. we, we pro pegasus technologies provides a platform to duane you know that helps them digitize that 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 payment that's now where we bring the value as a company we're a hundred percent local company owned by ugandans we're not a company that is owned by Americans. But let me ask, mm. where, where is Ronald's loss? But now, let, see, me, let me give an example. Is, I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you the loss. Mm -hmm. when, when, what will happen right now is when Duane puts on that 400 million, they will be charged 1%. That's a deposit. 1% of 400 million will be charged before they even pay out. Yes. Mm. When they send an instruction to pay, another 1% will go for the account, and the person, the farmer receiving will also get Receive less 1%. 1%. Yes. So by the time the farmer receives the money, they're receiving less 3%. Oh, there's already at least a 3% tax. Mm. Now, if the farmer decides to go and cash it out for argument's sake, there's another 1% plus a cash out fee. So there's an effect, by the time they get the cash in hand, there's an effective 4% plus a cash out fee that has been applied. Now, what will happen? The farmer is going to say, they're very fickle. You're going to say very fickle. little bags. money. Exactly. I'm getting little money. They're saying, no, give me back my cash. Mm. That's why I said, you're going mm. to go back to cash. You're not going to go back to banks. banks the farmer yeah. is not going to go running and say, oh, give me a bank account. Because before he was happy with cash. So he's going to say, you know what? This thing is too expensive. Give me cash. Duanero, as our client, is going to come to Pegasus and say, you know what, this platform you gave us is no longer useful to us. Not because we don't derive value from it, but it's become too expensive because of the, cash. of the tax. So we will then lose so many of these contracts. And as a company who has 65 people that are dependent on us as employees, yeah. we'll go down. Julius, is the question to <coughs> not have the tax or to revise <coughs> how we're taxing mobile money? Yes, but something you didn't mention. Yes. This is a farmer who would stand in a pitch for six hours to be paid. To be paid. Or not to be paid, please come tomorrow because the sun has, you know, it is now late. We are closing. We are closing. Now, this is a farmer who is in his bed sleeping. A text comes. Money. Million in your account. He, he doesn't need to go anywhere. Hmm. So what are we saying is that instead of really dismantling this kind of infrastructure. Because you're saying that's what this mobile money tax will yes. do? Yes. Let us increase money on the exercise duty. And why do I say that? You see, when, 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 when you increase and money... And that is to the telecom. When you increase charges, money yes. on the charges, yes. when you increase money on the charges, it is not going to affect the deposits and the withdrawals Withdraw, yes. of this ordinary person. And that's the farmer. But also phase. that withdrawal is if I send... Because uh, I think whoever is sending you money sends what would be the charge. Yes. Now, yes. Th that's actually, you've noticed what people say is, if you send me money, send me the send cash me out the, fee. Yes. Now, they're going to tell you, send me the cash out fee plus, plus the, the tax. Thank you very much. Foot my 1% my and percent. your one exactly. Yes. <laughs> Foot my 1% and your 1% and the charge out fee, whose, e whose exercise it has also increased from 10% yes. to oh. 17.5. <laughs> and the agents, I think they've put on now a 10%, if I'm not mistaken, a 10%, mm. yes. a, a 10 on the with, with, with what they call withholding tax. On the commission. On the commission <sighs> of the agents. Now, for me, when you look at it from a broader perspective, this looks like a tax that is designed to kill a product, not to derive some value from it that is not being already derived. However, mm. allow me to just make this comparison. You have a bank account. You have a mobile wallet. For all intents and purposes, you have value in both of them. Yes. Okay. What I don't understand, because this tax is also a bit discriminatory. You will not allow, for you, when, when they're paying you a salary into your, into bank, your bank account, account for a tax to be applied to it. You know why? Because you already have... There's, an, there's enough charges. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but by the time you're paid into your bank account, they, they've already taxed your pay. Yes. What people don't understand is there's so many companies out there that have been paying salaries on cash. Yes. That are now paying their salaries straight to mobile mm -hmm. wallets. But by the time that salary comes, they've already done pay on them as well. Construction companies are a good mm. example because mm. the threshold, you know, they, they pay people 300, 400,000 per yes, month. Yes. The guys like, I, that's, not, that's not enough for, to, to motivate me. There's even people are paid daily. Exactly. That's daily not enough, rates. Exactly. Yeah, rates. It's not yes. enough to motivate me to get a bank account. Mm. You've been paying me cash, but it's okay on mobile money. So what will happen is you deducted your pay, and then by the time you accrue that money on your account, there's another 4% gone. Yes, um, if we can, uh, before we say, if we went back to the drawing board, <laughs> yes. if we went back to the drawing board with mm. government, mm. because it's still a proposal. Yes. But you know, mm. what would we say to government? Mm. Say, fine, if mm. you really, really must tax, mm. this is what you can do. Now, we have provided two proposals, actually. Uh, one, one of them is uh, increasing, when you increase tax on exercise duty, you're actually going to, we have considered, we are, you're going to generate 132 million. Billion. B billion. Billion, billion, yeah. billion yes. And, and we found out that one actually is very easy to collect because you are already has an infrastructure on that one. Mm -hmm. It is very easy to collect. The other one we are thinking that there is probably, can guide us, we are thinking that there is this float. You know, before you open a mobile money account, you please can you first provide this amount of money so that we can be able to, mm. to, to guarantee that actually you want to, you want to default. 
This fraud is in, is in excess of around like 800 billion in these, in these banks. And it is collecting interest, which government is not charging. And this interest is not going to the people who have put money there. No, it is going to the interest of the banks. Mm -hmm. They get this money, invest it, and keep running, running their business. Yes. If government can charge interest on income on this fraud itself, we, we, are, we, we, are, we are seeing at, at, uh, at uh, an estimation of around more than 25 billion, something like that. So already the associated government can collect money without killing this important infrastructure that is, that is supporting So if it's the money they are lacking? It's money they are there lacking. There's <laughs> other ways to do it without hurting the one thing you're thinking the ordinary the Ugandan Ugandan probably yes. benefits from mm. and uses the most. There are, ways, there are other ways to do it. In my opinion... Because when you look at it, government is, with the proposed 1% tax, they're yes. targeting, like you said, 122 billion mm -hmm. shillings in extra revenue, mm -hmm. which is okay. And for me, I, I, I am not, we're a business that pays our taxes. So mm -hmm. we're not averse to we should, taxes. Pay yes, yes. Taxes. we should pay our taxes. Yes, and we should pay our taxes. We should. However, what for me I propose is, if you applied even just 0.3% on cash out, if you taxed cash out, because you're trying to also discourage, and any yes. economy out mm -hmm. there should be discouraging cash mm -hmm. and digitizing the economy. Yes. So yeah. one of the ways you can discourage cash is, mm -hmm. Tax the cash out. Mm -hmm. Don't tax me when I receive the money on my digital space. Mm -mm. Tax me when I'm exiting the money out of the digital space. Okay. Yes. Now, if you apply just a 0.3% tax on uh, cash out, mm -hmm. currently you will get 80 billion. Just that's one. So that gives you a deficit of how much? Uh, 40 billion. Like 40 billion. Okay. Yes. Mm. Then increase your excise duty, mm. like you said, from 10% mm. to whatever. The 17% they're going to. That will give you another 40 yes. billion. That yes. will cover your 22%. Your deficit already. 122. Mm. But even then, you have. Other digital, s other, other other mobile digital spaces that are coming in through, like say, agency banking. Understand them and see how exactly. you can make Exactly. So there are ways you can actually get, you can cover your budget gap mm. without decimating that digital space. Oh. However, let me also just mention one thing. What I've told you that is applying to Guanero will apply to all, all businesses out there. I'll give you an example. When you pay your Yaka bill, the recipient of that bill is Umemi. That means Umemi has an account on mobile money. Yes. So when they are when they are receiving that money, they'll also be charged one percent. When they are cashing out, they'll also be charged once. That's a trickle <laughs> effect, I tell <laughs> you. <laughs> it's a tax-paying tax entity. <laughs> yes. So isn't that They're the already taxation? paying taxes. They're already paying the yes. taxes. Yes. So, so, so uh, as we wind up, because this is supposed to go to the floor of parliament. Uh, this week, this I think. Week, yeah, this either week. today or tomorrow, it's going to be from parliament, yes. Okay, so mm. let's briefly check in with Andrew Chamagero and his guest for a few mm. comments before we wind up. Mm. Andrew Chamagero? Yes, uh... Flavia, I'm coming to you live from, of course, Anansana. And we have uh, the chairman here, Chairman Sawajewa. Hi, Sawajewa. Back with you, Tumusime Jackson. Tumusime Jackson. Ochogira koche cha mobile mano, msuro guide gubati sa gubagalo ukuleta, ukusak mobile mano, one percent. Evi interview, chila vika government ya kunyigiza mtu wa wansi. Echi ya. Owe nsonganti, uoteka mobile mano, ujia kwa msolo, ukwa wa guru. Or Munto wants our data to take a sending bank over send of Tonaton. About as far as they come by the money. Kubanga, ye banker, a young Munto wants him by the money, part time with a sent a car. I don't know again, I'm banker. I don't know what I call Mosolo. Try to take his aunt. Or I want to go and use a single good. Baba and Baba Nini, government, now and I sent his out. But now get a near bank. Omuntu wa wansa ni antandika kola abati yoke na mbank. Kwa haba manya ati bank ati solo za sende nyo kusinga chi? Mbalo mani. Ati po nisa mbalo mani atakazi nwote yake misolo. Najiba jaziduka. Bagani ati 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 he actually says that uh, when these tax is actually approved, it's going to be operation more to the layman, to the common man, Umuntuwa Wansi. He believes that uh, this is just going to benefit the ones who actually have more money. But for us, Bamufuna Ampola, it's not going to be working. All right, thank you so much, Andrew Tamagro there in Nansen. It was great having you this morning. Let's uh, come back here to the studio as we wrap up. Mm. I. I don't think I am an avid mobile money user. I have a mobile money account, mm. which I think everyone should be having by now. Yeah, yeah. But I, I deposit money, mm. I send out, but I don't think I use it as much. Mm. I'm still in the banking, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> the mm. banking number. Mm. But I do find it as a convenience because sometimes you go and now us who do emceeing jobs, you have your gig here, gig, and someone yeah. says, I don't have cash with me. What's your mobile money account number? So mm. I, I guess uh, everyone mm. somehow mm. will be affected. Uh, but as we're saying, it will go to the floor of parliament, hopefully this week. Yeah, this week, yes. This week. Mm. And it will be tabled, it will be discussed. Mm. I don't know if you can find your MP and... Uh, 
have mm. a short discussion with yes. them yeah, 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 ahead yeah. of that. But mm. uh, what would be your parting shots and your maybe your hopes before we wrap this up? I, I, I think two things for me. Number one is that the information we have is that 61% of Ugandans actually transact on mobile money. The transactions on mobile money is between 5,000 and 45,000 Ugandan shillings. And what that chairman said is correct. Low is income. Correct. Low income mm. earners. Secondly, is that I, I call upon our MPs because it is, it is, in, it is yes. in their hands that please, there are better ways to generate revenue from this country than killing the simple infrastructure that is making an ordinary person uh, live a very convenient life. If they disarm these mobile money agents, are they going to give them jobs? Thank you. That <laughs> If, if that was my parting shot, we already, just, we already have a high unemployment exactly. exactly. rate. What yeah. are we going it, to do it, for this? It, it is anti employment, it, 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 it is anti economic development, mm. and I think for me it is even anti financial inclusion. Your last words? 100,000 agents are employed through mobile money. Um, there is an, just beneath them, there's an, an entire digital, a thriving digital space. A growing, a growing, one well. growing one space. That, mm. Yes. Me and my partners before we started Pegasus were employed by government. Hmm. Okay? We left government, we, we had this idea and we had this skill to create digital payments through mobile money, create a company that does that. We employ 65 people. 65 people. And that's just us. And there's hundreds of companies like us that are dependent on this ecosystem. Yes. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, this is You're going, going to, to go back to government. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> we were out of And then <laughs> we just knock on government doors and say, give me back. So, so, <laughs> so one of these days, Ronald is knocking on government's doors for a job for a again. Job. Thank you so much for that great insight. Hashtag morning at NTV. We'll come back as this unfolds in parliament. Yes. We'll definitely come back to have mm. more of a discussion. That's mm. morning at NTV. Mm. Have a good day. Okay.